maybe we don't need to have one story for every sell-off, but sure. today there certainly seem to be a couple different things going on. It's hard, though, to argue that the way things took a turn for the worse of the narrative out of Washington into the close didn't have something to do with us closing at the lows down 237 points. Well, at minimum, you can say it doesn't help. It doesn't help that you may have a stalled uh, agenda in Washington. It doesn't help that if you really were buying into this market, because you felt as if I can tolerate today's valuations, which are kind of high, if we're going to get some policy help in a few months, uh, and all of a sudden this muddles that up a little bit, sure. But I've been arguing against the idea that this rally has been mostly or all about policy, so I don't necessarily think a 1% pullback is necessarily all about unwinding of those policy hopes. But you had some cumulative things going on for a while now that we've been talking about, which is some of the more cyclical, aggressive parts of the market have been declining for a while. You've had some other parts of the market keeping it supported. You know, the Nasdaq gave you four days in a row to sell it at an all-time high of 5,900, uh, and it couldn't get any more oomph above that. So it seems as if, look, we had some pent-up selling. We got a lot of it flushed through today. We're a little bit through the bottom of this range. People have been looking at to keep the S&P above 2,350. We'll see if there's anything that, uh, that follows behind this in yeah. terms of more selling. We're also about to get some earnings this afternoon. It could be interesting to see the impact that FedEx and Nike have on this market. Michael Yoshikami, um, you know, what are you reading? You know, you're on the West Coast. You're not in Washington. Maybe you get, you know, some fresh eyes on what's playing out here. Well, I can tell you I was in Silicon Valley yesterday, and they are very optimistic. Uh, so I, I don't think that um, there really is a, a, a tremendous amount of negative sentiment that's inserting itself into the markets at point just because we have one sell-off, one day sell-off. You know, why is it down? Who knows why it's down? In all likelihood, it's probably something to do with policy. I know Mike doesn't necessarily agree with that, but I think policy perhaps does have something to do with this, just a perception that health care isn't going well, so maybe tax policy isn't going well. But I've been saying for a while that the market is not cheap. It doesn't mean you don't own equities. It just means you're pretty defensive. And I think some of the names that have been defensive, that have been unloved, uh, I think are going to come back into favor when the market starts to get more volatile. All right, Jeff Salt, the other thing that happened today I find really interesting, especially when you look at the Russell. This morning, Ally comes out, gives a profit warning, and talks about how, you know, suddenly used car prices are dropping. That means, you know, finance companies have to put up more provisions against losses, for example. It kind of ripples through the whole car industry, and that's what we saw in the market today, and that includes a lot of the banks. Is it possible if the financials were, you know, kind of the first to crumble this morning that it might all come back to this, even though I know J.P. Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon addresses at the Investor Day said what's happening in the you know, car industry is not systemic, uh, but it does, you know, arguably have a big impact, at least on the market today. Yeah, that Allied Bank news came on top of a story I read this morning at 5.30 a.m. Uh, that said Americans, to a, uh, some degree, have stopped making car payments on their, on their auto loans. So that was piling on with the Allied Bank story this afternoon. But I think the real cause of Proxima today was when Donald Trump came out and didn't say that, you know, the health care bill was a slam dunk going to pass. Now, I, I would tell you that our models turned negative uh, the last week of January, and up until today, that's been wrong-footed. But I, I still stick with the models, and I still think you'd be cautious here.